Hey guys, it's me and it's Monday and I was just sitting here preparing for my video and I was putting my earrings in and I decided to go ahead and show these to you before I put them in just because I think they're so pretty. They're from Miranda Fry and they're from that Naomi Boyer collection and I just got them I think last week either last week or the week before and I wore them the other day and a lot of you were asking me about them and I really like them. They are, they've got a nice back on them and I just love that design. I think it shows a lot and it's kind of classic. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is a hair video. It has been the greatest thing for me to really keep up with my DMs on Instagram and really try to interact with you more and it really has not been that hard. It's just been maybe making it a habit to check my Instagram a little bit more. I appreciate all of you so much that have messaged me and followed me there. So what I'm trying to do is any questions that I get over and over again, I want to make a video about because obviously, you know, it's something that more people might want to know about too. And one of those is my hair. I mentioned, I think in my video where I talked about my DMs and stuff, I don't even know if amazing is a strong enough word to use to describe the transition from my hair, I think that picture I showed you was 2018 and the way it is now. So um, you can see, I just, I curled it last night and I forgot, I haven't curled it like this in so long with that dry bar wand. I forgot that the first night I usually sleep with it up like in a loose bun and I forgot. So you can see, I must have slept on this side. It got a little bit flatter, but that will go into something I'm gonna tell you. What I've decided to do, I, has, I was bringing hair products up here from downstairs and I just decided I had too many to go over. So what I'm gonna do is break down this into two videos. The first one is habits and things that I've changed. And then I will do another video probably on Wednesday of my favorite hair products. And you guys know this is what I do. So I try all kinds of new hair products. I just tried a mousse that was supposed to give you so much body and it just did the opposite for me. So I do try lots of products, but there are products that I buy over and over again. And when I try something and it just backfires on me, I'll always go back to my tried and true. So that's what I'm going to show you, including the brushes and everything in the next video. Today, I just want to go over with you things that I have done in the past couple of years that may have made a difference. I talked to Morgan about this and I just talked to Brooke about this this morning. I looked up quickly, you know, like videos on long, healthy hair and I just searched it for like a year back. And what I saw come up was a lot of young girls much younger than i am i'm 50 and that makes a difference when you get into perimenopause things change and even if you have had the best hair hormones take a toll on your hair so if you are in the perimenopause age you know i've talked about this so many times when I started noticing, it was before I started using Monate, I noticed that my hair was thinning and I really didn't know what it was. It was perimenopause. But every time I spoke to my doctor about it, he said, you know, I was too young. My hormone, he tested my hormones. They looked fine and all that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, if you are in your, I would say, I mean, and you can, like my mom went through menopause at 45. So I knew I was a candidate to go into menopause early. But I would say late 30s, early 40s, you may start feeling the effects in your hair. And it can make your texture different. I mean, just to prove what hormones do to your hair, think about when you had a baby. If any of you out there had a baby, you know when you're pregnant, oh my gosh, you have the most luxe, thick, fabulous hair. I mean, your hair is just amazing. And then after you have the baby, it just comes out in handfuls and it's thin and just crazy looking. And then you get all of that new growth and it's like, you can't believe you lost that much hair. I remember after I had Brooke, the girl I was going to, 
I think after it started coming in, she said, I was really starting to get worried. I mean, I lost a lot of hair with Brooke and then grew it all back in. So that just goes to show you what hormones can do to something just like your hair. So that's what I want you to do in all videos. When you search a video, make sure that you are doing kind of like apples to apples. If you're watching someone who is young and just, you know, has this full, good, healthy head of hair, of course, it's going to be easier for her to maintain that. So try to find someone with similar issues. Find someone with similar hair. If I, like I saw, when I looked it up, I think I saw Tamara Kalinick had done a hair video. So, obviously, she's younger. Obviously, she has a totally different head of hair than I do. She has that thick I think she's Serbian. So she has that thick, just coarse, healthy. I mean, it's gonna take a lot probably to mess up her hair. Her individual strands of hair are probably twice the diameter of mine. I never really realized the big, big difference in that until I wore extensions. And I could, you know, like pull up my hair and you could tell the difference in my hair and the extension hair, even if it was the exact same color because the extension hair was just like, I mean, just like twice as big. You try to find someone who has hair like you do. I'm just trying to keep you from buying a lot of things you don't need. I have tried biotin. It did nothing for me. It did nothing for me. It ended up making me hungry. And I noticed it and I looked it up and it's done the same thing to other people. So I, I think... I can't even remember which one I was using. It was a good one. I remember the company sent me a really good one. You guys can probably remember better than I do. That really wasn't what I wanted. I'm hungry enough. Make sure you're looking at this a person that's the same age and similar hair. I don't want you to get snookered. Trim. I've had ask, people ask me how often I get my hair trimmed. Well, that depends. Are you trying to keep the same length, the same style? Or are you letting it grow? I am someone who has been letting it grow, so I only get trims when Morgan thinks I need one. And usually what I'll do is I go to the hair salon every probably four weeks because I'm coloring and covering my gray. I will ask her probably every second or third time, do I need a trim? And sometimes she'll say, we can, you know, take a little bit and even it up. And so that's what I'll do. Think about this. And I, I think I made a hair video a long time ago about when I cut my hair off to here. I was not going to Morgan at the time and I'd had some bad hair experiences and advice. And it just got to the point where I was so miserable with my hair. I just cut it off to here. That was fine. I know a lot of you loved it. You have to, you know, you have to do what's best for you. I did not feel like myself. It's not that I really hated it and I enjoyed it, but what I realized, and this is so profound, and I always think back to when Britney Spears, you know, had her meltdown, and I, I don't mean anything negative about that. Remember, she shaved her head, and I remember thinking, good. Wow, now she can just let her hair grow out and be healthy. What did she do? As soon as her hair got to be about that long, she had extensions all over. So what was she doing? She was damaging the hair that was that long. So that's what you have to think about. Before you think of just chopping your hair, you need to think, am I gonna go back to doing the, all the same things that I did before? Then, instead of damaging this part of your hair, you're just gonna damage this part of your hair and you're never gonna be able to let it grow out. So my advice would be, if you have damaged your hair and it is, you know, in a mullet or like mine would get where the sides would break off or it is just distraught and I will show you some products that I have used for that in the past. Matter of fact, let me write one down so I don't forget it. You need to cut the minimal amount off let it grow, cut it off, let it grow, cut it off, let it grow, and change your habits. Change the things that got you to that point. If you don't, and you cut your hair off, and you keep doing the same things, it's just gonna backfire on you because it's just gonna snap. Instead of snapping up to here, it's gonna snap up to here. And speaking of snap, the worst 
snap I have ever had was after I went to, I remember it like it was yesterday, I was in New York for the first time, and I had just gotten my hair done, and they that was when Olaplex came out. And I think everyone thought Olaplex was just the magic bullet that was gonna keep you from getting any damage. I remember looking at like this side of my hair, and I swear it had snapped off to about this short. And all of a sudden, the whole part of my hair was, like all of the highlights were starting to snap off. And when I came back and went back to the guy I had been to, he was like, hmm, that's weird. That's weird, I used Olaplex just like they said. It's not that I think he meant to do it, but you gotta, you gotta watch out for yourself, really. I mean, sometimes I'll, you know, say to Morgan, oh, you're not doing so-and-so, or don't forget so-and-so, and I know that she knows that and I trust her. They can get confused with different people. They can be thinking about something else. They're only human. So just be your hair's advocate and, you know, say over and over again, remember, I get breakage really easy up here. Don't let them, you know, I don't know, talk you into anything or make you think that some product they're using is a magic product because your hair is different. It is totally different. Um, air dry. Wow. Matter of fact, when I asked Morgan last week about this video and some things that she thought, you know, made my hair do better, she said, you letting your hair dry all last summer, she said that made a big difference. She said, and then once your hair hit that point, she said it just grew. I started doing that again when we got hot, but then it got cold again and it got cold at night and I just can't do it if it's cold outside. So I'm looking forward to, I think later this week, it's supposed to get warm again. And when it finally stays warm, then I will be letting my hair air dry again. Now, does it look as pretty? Does it look as polished? Does it look as healthy? Maybe not but sometimes you have to sacrifice for the end product. When we move in our house, I'll have that nice big front porch and the nice big back porches. So that's what I always love to do in my old house is I would wash my hair, I would try to do it earlier in the day, and then I would go water my flowers, um, do something outside, go sit outside with the kitties, which Bubba's the only one that really likes to go outside, and just, it's amazing. It will just air dry so quick. So that is what I plan on doing. And even if you could do that every other time or, you know, every third time, every little bit helps. Just remember, it is just like taking care of a flower. You want to leave it alone to an extent, but then you need to pay attention to it and care for its needs. You know what I mean? Like if you're caring for a rose bush, you want to, you don't want to keep trimming it back, keep trimming it back. You want to let it bloom and flourish. But then when the, the, you know, flower dies, you want to trim that off. Then you see, like I always get that black spot mold. You need to take care of it immediately and not wait until it's gotten so bad. You can't, you know, you have to cut everything off. So I don't know how I came up with that, but it's just, you know, just don't, overdo it and kind of let it be for a while. If I had to say the biggest difference that I'm doing now that I have just probably always gone against is letting my hair be warm, let it be a honey blonde, and not being obsessed with just it being, you know, so blonde under here so blonde up here. I've kind of just settled for a honey blonde and I'm not always worried about it being platinum, icy, cool toned. When you are bleaching your hair, bleach is, you know, what is that, the number one bleach and heat? That's the two destroyers right there. If you can get rid of or do the best you can with both of those, then that is going to help. All of that started when she started using the Redken Color Gel Lacquers, I think is what it's called. I will put the correct um, formula down there. And that's another thing she always wants me to tell you guys because so many people message her wanting to know my exact color. And it is the Redken 
gel lacquer in volcanic and a lot of people have a hard time you know getting a grip with that because that sounds cool toned i think it's even a, a neutral seven in or something like that but you have to think of we all have a different we start out with like a different color of construction paper and so if everyone has a different color of construction paper even if it's different shades of yellow or different shades of beige and i give you all the same marker or crayon when we color on our paper it's going to look different so what works for me may not work for you you have to talk to your hairstylist to see if you think that will work and that's another thing i recommend sticking finding a good hairstylist and sticking with them if you can't get in when you want to get in suck it up and wait if you can't I mean, you just, once you find a good one, I, I mean, if Morgan ever leaves, I would consider, I don't know what I, I would just be distraught. I think when I, when she started using that color, like she just did my roots with no highlights. I had gotten highlights before, but this time she just did my roots. So that's what that color is, is the volcanic. And there's just something about it. I like it. It lightens it just enough. I like the color, so I don't feel like I need highlights as much. And I just decided, I think as you age anyway, the, the you know, really white platinum is just very harsh. It's very harsh and it's hard to, you have to be fully made up really for it to look good. It's not, it's a look and it's just high upkeep and it's just not for me. So I don't wash and style every night. I usually go at least every other night and if I can, I'll go a third night. And I try not to load up with dry shampoo. I think the dry shampoo has a lot of alcohol in it and you don't want to really, I don't know, I'm so protective of my scalp. It's just, that's, that's the biggest thing. I really, think about every single thing. I don't just say, you know, F it <laughs> and do whatever just because it looks good. Like this morning, I thought about heating that wand up again and recurling this side, but I don't want to do it. I just don't want any more damage. I'm going to make this last two to three days. And I'll mention this again, but before I forget, heat tools, I never put them over. I never buy one if it's not adjustable and i never put it over 340 is what i put the digital ones on my curling iron that has the little wand thing it's right around 340 so i think that's very important when you have fine hair like someone like tamara or even someone like tammy who you know our hair may look similar but her hair is much thicker and coarse and bigger like her actual strands of hair are bigger so she could probably do that but I can't, I already know that my hair is, you know, fragile. Oh, this is like, this is like a big, big, big thing. This is something I was talking to Brooke about. I underlined so much oil. I use, and I brought these up here. I use so much oil. It is actually amazing that I use so much oil and it doesn't look oily. But when I take my hair out of the towel and I do use microfiber towels, I put two pumps, sometimes three, but most of the time I put two pumps of this. And this is a thick Kerastase oil. So I use two pumps of that. Then when I'm blow drying it, as soon as my ends start to dry, I put one or two pumps of the Colleen smooth and shine hair serum this is a little lighter than the thick kerastase and i have tried so many different oils in this line i ordered that purple one that goes with the blonde line i ordered the fragranced one none of them compare to this one this is my holy grail what is it greatest of all times goat product from kerastase is this oil I do think the original Moroccan oil is very similar, if you like the smell of that better. I would, if I couldn't get this, I would get that one. And this one is the one I use when I'm blow drying. And the next day when I am brushing out my hair, I'll usually flick it over. And if there is like tangles under here, I'll see them. 
So what I'll do is put a pump of this in my hand and I will kind of rub it in the ends and that makes those tangles kind of slide out. Never, ever pull on your hair. Even if you're using a tangle teaser, a wet brush, anything. Don't pull on it because those pieces will snap. I mean, they can only take but so much. So I try not to ever pull on my hair. Of course, I start at the bottom and just oil, oil, and more oil. And these just, they don't make my hair oily. They just make it shiny. And I think they just have really, really helped. Okay, heat never over 340 and heat protectant. This is one of those things I'm a little bit like, I always wonder, do heat protectants really work? I hope they do. I think they do. And this is just this product is just, I've used this for so many years. I've bought this for my mom over and over. It's the Kenra Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. I always use something like this. This is most of the time what I use. And then this. It is the 450 Degrees Hot Tool Protection Spray. And I don't know, to me it has a little bit of hold in it too. I spray... Let's see, spray liberally onto finished hair for shine and heat protection, then use a hot iron. I spray each piece, and I mean, I will hold it up, you know, and I'll do it, it's a fine mist, I'll spray it, and I may even spray the other side of it. And that's what I do for each piece of hair, no matter if I'm using the big fat curling iron, the purple one, or like last night, using the wand, and I just love it. And I was telling Brooke, one of her old managers told me about this and I have never gone back. I've tried other things, but I always come back to this. Okay, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, ask them below if I didn't cover something. And then Wednesday, I will do my favorite hair products, including, you know, three or four hair tools, the blow dryer, because you know I love a blow dryer. I have so many of them. And I will go over like my favorite, you know, shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioners and stuff like that too. So I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. So if you have been following me on Instagram, you know how much I love, and I told you I think on Friday, how much I love the Mother Denim Tomcat jeans. So I took the other ones back, the A Gold E, Riley and I got traded them for these. These are also the Mother Denim Tomcat, but these have the exposed buttons and they still have some distressing, but they're darker. They have a little bit of distressing in the knee and they are finished on the bottom. And then these are my new, oh, I can't stand up. I need something to hold on to. The new Bottega sandals. I know this carpet keeps you from being able to see but I, I have not even worn these yet. I'm gonna wear them today and see if they're as comfortable as the mules because I am telling you, the mule Bottega sandals are worth every penny if you feel like paying up. I mean, I know some people would never pay that much for a pair of shoes, but if you've been on the fence and been thinking about trying a pair, they're just so comfortable to be the heel height they are. So I love those. And I wanted to see how these feel and how they wear and everything like that. And then my bright fluorescent highlighter orange bodysuit is from Amazon. It's one of those that I love so much. And I love this color in the summer. Fragrance I have on today. I've been wearing it. I think I've worn it every day. And someone said they got it and it smells like Juliet. The one that I keep wanting to say, Jamie's got a gun. Janie's got a gun. <laughs> Juliet has a gun or something like that. Someone said it smells like that. It's very unisex. It's just different. I don't know. I've, I've enjoyed it. So thank you guys for being here, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.